We are back in the daytime kitchen with Beth Ritchie from First We Nourish, and today we're making huevos rancheros, yes. which is typically not very healthy. It, it can be. I think there's a lot of ways to do it. Um, mm -hmm. but All of the ones I've had have, were, were very unhealthy. Yeah, they're usually covered in cheese. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this, um, I've taken kind of the healthy elements of it. Cool. Um, and so I want to focus first on the eggs. So um, the egg whites are the, the healthiest bit of the egg. Mm -hmm. They're a very affordable um, protein source. Mm -hmm. But I don't know about you, just eating straight up egg whites. Not, Not so I, much. Yeah. yeah. So I these are the egg whites that I use. Yeah. So I always recommend um, buying the like carton egg whites. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. So I get these from Kroger. There's a, a couple of different brands, but they're the pasteurized carton ones. Yeah. So much easier than separating egg whites, right? right? right. So yes. I always keep a dozen eggs and one of these in my kitchen. Okay. Um, and so when I make the eggs, so I actually am cutting the recipe in half from what's going to be online just because okay. it made a lot. Um, so you start off with three whole eggs. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have our whole eggs here, and then we're going to do the other half with just pure egg whites. So okay. you just dump that in. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I never notice it. When I add egg whites to my, just to my like regular eggs mm -hmm. with yolk, yeah. it's not like it changes the flavor in no. a bad way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it's And this great. is the nice thing about it. So we're minimizing the unhealthy fats from the egg yolk, but just giving it enough of the flavor component, right? right? right. Okay. The other thing is with my scrambled eggs, I always add a little bit of water. Um, the reason why is when it cooks and heats up, that steam actually gives you a fluffier egg. So, <gasps> yeah. what? Yeah. I love it. Without love the added shows. calories of sometimes the cream or other things yeah. that people yes. add, right? I add milk. I do, I do. Yeah, well, I always I started too. adding egg whites because, you know, our, my family eats so many eggs mm -hmm. that it just made more eggs so we mm -hmm. weren't using as many, going through right. as many eggs, which yeah. totally worked for us. Yeah. Saved us a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. Right. So, that's where we stop and we're going to cook sure that it's hot enough. We're going to go ahead and cook the eggs at this point. Okay. Um, so we're going to put them in here. The key to heart healthy cooking is a good nonstick pan. Do we put oil in it? Well, I was going to say, so a good nonstick pan, um, okay. if you have a really good one, you might not need to. Okay. Otherwise, um, I have a little bit of spray oil here because okay. if they get a little old, sometimes the eggs, especially with eggs, they start sticking a little bit. Right. So I'm just going to spray a little bit in here. And then you pour your eggs in. All right, so as you pour them in, we are running out of time. We okay. have a minute left, and we want to get to okay. um, the other parts of this recipe that mm -hmm. you're sharing, which yeah. is the black bean and avocado salad. Yes. Which is... And that is a really versatile um, recipe. I always make up a batch. It goes really well on top of meats, um, salads, and then with this, you can have it on hand, and it'll mm -hmm. it'll make a great, great, easy, quick meal. Yeah. Awesome. And so I'm. S and these are the butternut squash. Yeah, so it's roasted butternut squash. I like to do them in steaks like that because it, um, it's a great bed for the eggs. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So these cook up really quickly, oh, and sure. as soon as all of the liquid is cooked off, mm -hmm. that's when you want to pull it to not get them, you know, over dry. Overcooked. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So I'm gonna do this here. I'm gonna scoop them on in. Okay. And then I do the salt and pepper at the end. And the reason why is if you add salt at the beginning, it can toughen up the, the proteins in the egg and give you, that. so. Did you know that? Oh my gosh, that's so good. We do it anyway, because usually yeah. we forget. Right. But, and then you. But it works out for us. Yep. Yeah. So then I have the salt here. We'll just kind of do it real quick. All right. Okay. And we are going to um, offer up the recipe on our website, daytimebluridge.com. Just mm -hmm. look for the Huevos Rancheros. And people can find you at First We Nourish. Mm -hmm. Yep. Dot WordPress dot com. Yeah. And so then okay. you just take some of the eggs. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful We're this gonna is going to be. Put it on top of there. Put it on top. Mm. And then our avocado yeah. mixture. Yeah, I'll just take this here. Right on top. And then um, if you are a salsa fan, which I am, yes. you just put yes, a little yes. bit of salsa. I love this. Yeah. Beth, there you thank go. you so much. You're welcome. And mm. we'll be right me. back.